Hello guys and welcome back to another video and another video on the BMW of course. Now we're going to be using Ista again today. Now I don't know how many of you guys saw my previous video on Ista where we've done the whole diagnostic check just to see if, if the car has any faults and we found out that there was no faults in the car which is all good. And uh, I've actually had a good play around with Ista. I've managed to find out um, some more features and uh, now obviously there's there's a whole lot that I still need to learn on it um, but if and when I do find something that is useful and that could potentially be beneficial to you guys uh, I will share it with you and today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your CBS data or your condition based service data so this is essentially on your iDrive or on your combi when you have the service interval requirements so for example on the uh, oil change intervals it's like every 18,000 miles or so and then you have the brake fluid then you have the front and rear brakes and you have like pollen filter and uh, state inspection and all that um, but we're actually going to be resetting some of those today in ISTA. Now, bear in mind, you usually can do this in the Combi or in your iDrive system. So there's actually no reason to go ahead and do this in ISTA. Uh, but I actually went to reset my um, engine oil um, counter, the service requirement. I went to reset that the other day. And... Um, when you go through the options using the stalk, usually, there's usually a step where you need to hold down the uh, trip odometer button and it usually displays reset. But instead of saying reset, it just said OK. Now, bear in mind, it was on 16,000 miles when I went to change it. So I don't know if it didn't let me change it because the mileage was too high already. But I mean, I, I, I changed my oil like 4,000 miles ago before that. Um, so I don't know if this is registered as like too, too little in between uh, oil changes. But yeah, it, it essentially didn't let me reset um, the engine oil counter. So I'm going to today, I'm going to attempt to do that through ISTA. So I'll first of all, I think what I'll do is I'll actually show you um, what I mean when I went to reset it the other day. And then we'll move on to ISTA and uh, try to try to correct this. Okay, so usually how you would reset your service intervals is you do it on the combi. So all you need to do is hold down this button right here until you are greeted with that. And then you can actually toggle through them. And it's obviously engine oil that we want to do. But when you hold that down, instead of showing reset, that should show reset there, but it doesn't, it just shows okay. And there's nothing that I can do, even if I hold it down for, you know, a good amount of time, it still doesn't show reset. So I don't really know what the issue is with that. I mean, I'm sure the others, they will let me reset. I don't need to reset any others. It's only the engine oil. But yeah, for whatever reason, it won't let me reset the engine oil. So we are going to be doing that today in ISTA. Okay then, so let's get the DCAN cable plugged into the OBD port, let's get the laptop fired up and let's get started with ISTA. Okay then guys, so we are on the laptop now, I have my DCAN cable plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and load up ISTA D. Yes, just make it a little bit bigger. Okay then, so now what I'm gonna do is place my key in the ignition and turn the ignition on. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is go on operations, read out vehicle data and complete identification. And now obviously if you watched my previous sister video you'll know what it's doing now it's scanning all of the modules for any potential error codes and it would appear that we do have one in the light module that could be one of my daytime running lights out but that is actually they're actually uh, switched off anyway so they're not even being used Okay then, so once it has done scanning the modules, what you want to do is head over to vehicle management and then head over to service functions 
maintenance and pre-delivery check CBS correction tester data CBS correction vehicle data and CBS reset and we want to go over to CBS reset CBS reset and then you want to go to the ABL CBS reset okay then so here we can see all of the CBS data that is coded into our car for me I only have engine oil front brake pads rear brake pads brake fluid and a vehicle check the one that we want to focus on today though is engine oil as the others are fine I have reset them all uh, quite recently uh, but we do want to reset the engine oil again so if we go ahead and click on that and then we click continue availability greater than 80% do you really wish to perform a reset yes so with that saying that it's over 80% maybe that is the reason why it's not possible to do it on the combi maybe if it's over 80% it won't actually let you reset it but it should let us reset it through ISTA so I'm going to select yes and then continue performing CBS reset please wait condition base I didn't even get a chance to read that but as we can see engine oil 100% dash 10 so that should mean that we are all good okay then so with everything reset that we want to reset today we are just going to end the service function by clicking continue service function finished continue and there we go that is out of there we can go ahead and close down ISTA and now what we can do is check in the iDrive just to make sure that it has been reset so if we just go to vehicle information vehicle status service required and then select engine oil and as we can see it's been reset to 19,000 so it has indeed worked and we will actually go ahead and just confirm that it's been reset in the combi as well so if we hold down the tripodometer button until we are greeted with that and yes there we go 19,000 miles okay then so that is that done and another job done using ISTA and to be honest that really wasn't difficult at all it's probably one of the more easier jobs to do using ISTA but it's definitely worth knowing for the future like I said you can usually reset your uh, CBS data through your combi or through your iDrive um, but if for whatever reason you cannot do this you do always have the option to do it through ISTA and it just goes to show you how invaluable something like ISTA really is you know if you was to take your car to a dealership to get this done they would charge the earth for it and it's something that really doesn't take long at all and so it's definitely worth having this software if you plan on keeping your car for any amount of time. Now then, I will be bringing more videos out on ISTA. If you have any suggestions as to what you would like to see me do, bear in mind I am still learning myself. I am going to be taking little baby steps. You know, like I said, I don't really want to mess anything up. So... Um, I am going to do my research, learn how to do it myself, and then when I am comfortable doing it, I will go ahead and show you guys. But if you do have any suggestions, um, you know, with regards to future videos or whatever, um, then, you know, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I'll see you all in that next video. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.